Hey everyone, welcome to Bali. I'm Trevor with Bali Texture. And if you've joined us before, you know that I take you around the most amazing villas and luxury resorts that Bali has to offer. Today, we're right in the heart of Bali in Semenyak at the Abakov Villas. I can also guarantee you the most epic pool test I've done yet because we've got like six pools here all together and I'm just gonna try and run around and jump in all of them. So before we get started here, make sure and like and subscribe. This place, hands down, rockstar status. Let's take a look. So by now I've gotten to see some pretty amazing properties. Uh, I have to say that the Abaca Villas are probably my favorite just upon even first impression. When you come in here, we've got three separate villa complexes that are adjoined, but you can separate them through a gate. So we've got 15 to 16 different rooms, different levels. And I'll tell you what, if you're trying to throw the wedding reception uh, of a lifetime, or if you're a celebrity looking to come to Bali and bring your entourage, this villa is where you do it. It's right in the heart of Semenyak. It's close to everything. Uh, come take a look. So I'm coming into the central villa here called the Kade. We've got one to my right, which is the Ilu, and then one in the back here called the Numan. And there's different levels here as well. So all the pools, if it's opened up, all the pools line up and actually flow into each other. Uh, but we do have an elevation drop that goes into the Numan villa. And this is clearly the ultimate entertaining space. We've got a massive couch, uh, just incredible wood table here. And I like how, you know, we truly have open living space here because we've got a giant dining room table that's right next to the bar in the kitchen. Coming up here, I love just the, the mix of, we've got traditional, you know, we've got wood carvings and sculptures. We've got a lot of wood pieces sculpture that's that's traditional style we've got massage area up here and then some bedrooms i love that mix of combining traditional with modern because as we come into the bedrooms it's more modern furniture that we come into we've got and every bedroom that we come into in this villa as you'll soon see uh, really has its own luxury space we've got our own private balcony here uh, we still have uh, some privacy provided by the, the palm and a lot of space as well so We have a double door here that you come out and here's the shower. So we actually have our own private outdoor balcony here and then a outdoor shower. Uh, still has an overhang, so if it's raining, you're not getting rained on, but. Uh, there's so many rooms in this villa. Um, this room to the side, now this is a mirrored layout uh, as opposed to that one. So I'm not gonna go into detail on that because we've got a lot of room to cover. I think what feels a little surreal, which I love this when I uh, find villas like this, is I feel like I'm in a living room within a house, within a bigger house. You know, it's like, you, feel, you really have that feel like you're in a palace because you've got a, a nice private deck here, uh, just sprawling pools, but then we also have the neighbor's deck uh, right to the side. So I feel like I'm in a, a little luxury neighborhood here. So I'm coming into uh, one of the bedrooms that's across from the main kare main house. Uh, and it's huge. We've got uh, two single beds here and then a really, really nice bathroom. Oh man, look at this. And I just, I love this where again, everything flows through and we've got this unique design element where it's just an open partition. You can lower the blind here, uh, but you know, just take a step outside. Like why not? You know, I just, I love that free-flowing element. So let's head over to this final room of the Kade. We've got a king-size bed here. Uh, these rooms are huge. And then the same layout, but different materials used in the shower. I even like how like the gates got a little, uh, you know, it's got style to it. You know, it's industrial. We've got this uh, iron door with a little texture on it. Uh, kind of cool. And again, I'll, I'll keep reiterating how amazing this space is uh, as far as its design, because if the gates are closed off, you certainly have your unique villa, but then if they're open, we have this really nice 
new space. You know, it's a it's a brand new space when they're open all together. And so the way that they've incorporated these day beds in the middle, but then we've got uh, steps down into this next property. Uh, I just love it. I love the dynamics of how that's working. So now I've entered the area of the Newman Villa. And this is the place where if you have a big wedding reception here, uh, you'll probably have the dance party over here. We've got a large pavilion that's open. Again, another huge, huge living area. Just massive table, massive dining room table. But then really, this is the place that everybody's going to be hanging out at. Yeah, you can tell that the way that this property flows, everything's going to kind of collect back here. Uh, we've got beanbag chairs, these bird's nest hanging chairs. We even have a foosball table and then another pool on the back here. And, you know, we just have works of art everywhere. We've got art installations, carvings, sculptures, uh, antiques. It's just, there's always something to look at here. Uh, so coming into this bedroom, we've got a little outdoor area. Again, villa bathrooms are some of my most amazing spaces in the world. And this is no exception. We've got mirrors that sit here. Uh, it's almost an optical illusion because we have mirrors here, but then it's actually open, uh, which goes through to this outdoor space. Uh, we've got garden that surrounds the bathroom here. I just love that space. You know, it comes from the, the architectural philosophy out here that there's five elements, earth, wind, fire, water, and then space is that extra element. And we certainly get a feel for that here. Um, let's head upstairs. So in the Newman property, we're here in the upstairs loft bedroom and you see something that you'll you'll just you'll never see anywhere else, I swear. But we've got uh, this shower bathroom area that's encased, surrounded by this cement wall, and I just love it. it, it you know, you just again, you're still in a completely unique space here. I just I really love that. So we've got a lot of a uh, lot of amazing pieces throughout uh, this room as well. But we also have a, a little lounge area and a private deck, and then we also have a big patio deck area outside. So we're back on the upper level here at the Elu property. And I think we're just gonna head right into the master bedroom while we're here. Now the first thing I, you know, th my first impression here is, it's obviously an amazing uh, large bedroom space, but the repurposed wood elements um, just really take it over the top. It is just, just incredible. So uh, look at this, we've got a bit of a, a waterfall shower here, just massive open space with a shower head right there. So it still has that indoor outdoor shower element to it. Follow me right here. I think this is the, this is the coolest part. We've got, uh, we've got the repurposed antique wooden door that goes out into the bedroom like is that awesome and to me a feature like this is going above and beyond where the architect really is representing what bali can be you know it's a mix of that modern and that tradition and culture that door does that perfectly i think now speaking of uh that marriage between new school and old school if uh which is a really bad way to put that. But, um, but again, traditional mixed with modern. Uh, we've got a Joglo style bedroom. So completely different uh, than everything else in the rest of this villa complex. Two single beds here. And an outdoor bathroom area that is protected. Oh, but still a really nice space. What I like from here is if you've seen the entrance, you've seen the archway and uh, we can see that through this window here too. So even though it's this small juggalo, you know, a little smaller, cozy bathroom, we still see an amazing entrance, have an amazing sense of space. So like the other bedrooms, uh, we're facing the pool here. We've got large sliding glass doors. Bedroom area, uh, furniture is the same as the others, and then bathroom back here. And so far, 
every bathroom's been a little bit different. This is no exception. Uh, double sinks and shower back here. Another huge shower. If there's a running theme in this villa, is that every shower is massive, big open space, uh, surrounded by a stone. All right, let's head upstairs to this bedroom and then uh, we'll check out the main living area. You know, just these rooms over here, we've got our own private patio deck area that looks out to your own private view of a rice paddy. You know, that's, uh, that's hard to find in general sometimes in Bali. All right, coming into this loft here and uh, it's A-frame throughout and main bed area here, well, just have the bed and then the bathroom behind. Repurposed doors to the toilet. And as was expected, uh, really amazing space for the shower. We've got quartz that goes all the way up uh, to the ceiling. So coming down from the bedroom, we go through the side here and I'm actually walking into the dining room of the main living area. Again, this is, uh, you know, this is at the other end of this complex and it's a huge space, perfect for entertaining, a large group of people. We've got a massive pool deck, uh, quite the view looking through all the three villa complexes here. And um, we've got art everywhere. We've got lots of place to sit, relax, TV, media center. So let's have a chat about these pools. We've got three pools that all connect here. Uh, it was definitely the first thing I thought about when I walked in here is, holy cow, this place is insane. So I think I've got an idea how to do it because all I want to do is just run around on this lawn and jump into pools. So uh, let's see how this goes. So truly guys, this is uh, easily one of my top villas I've ever seen. Um, I just, I really love the layout. I love how everything's unique. Uh, there's so many pieces of art in here. I could talk about it for weeks. If you're interested in booking the Abaca Villas, either one or buy out the entire complex, we'll leave a link below where you can get in touch for some more information. And if you're looking to invest in Bali or build your dream villa, we can help you out with that at Bali Texture. We'll leave a link below where you can get in contact with us for some more info. Before we head out here, make sure and like and subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you guys again.